All right, zoom in now. So this is a real-time zoom in. All right, zoom in further. And you're mapping the color in real time. Correct. And meanwhile, we still can change the deeper. Color so you're changing color. the color map. Oh, that's very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, the animation is kind of scratchy, yeah. Zoom all the way. Just need a couple hits and you'll be good to go. Yeah, it reminds me of the 60s, yeah. man. I mean, currently I just fixed the zoom degree, but... You can still... Yeah, we can still... You're still this. zooming in even yeah. further. Yeah. So... Um, okay, so yeah, we can still do it. Now, what's going on here? We're getting some. There's some ripping there. Is that from the? Um. So the further you zoom, the more time it takes. No, the further they. Uh, yeah, the the further I zoom, basically, the uh, once the whole screen, you, you, you notice the black area is becoming large, which mm -hmm. means that. Um, the course takes longer. Out of, yeah, it takes longer. So, okay. yeah, it will be like this. Now the music starts yeah. again, and so the color changes start again. Yeah, if you notice that this blue stuff is actually not pure blue, it's gradually changed. Uh -huh. So, some is, so cool. yeah, light blue and dark blue and bright blue. Okay, so we've got, so we've got so we've got a real-time FFT going here, and how fast is the Mandelbrot set being updated? The Mandelbrot set, I didn't calculate that in a very accurate way, but we can definitely finish within 500 milliseconds with this degree, with this zoom degree. Okay, so it's it's plenty fast for for interactive stuff. For some for some zooms, it's faster. Yeah, yeah. as long as there's no large area of black stuff, stuff in the, the screen, which means uh, the iteration exceeds, exceeds the maximum iteration, so it will definitely go slower. But the thing is that we have 16 pipes uh, for Manabot set calculation core assigned the, uh, with a single task source. It's like this guy, oh, I have a task. He will ask the 16 cores whether you're free or not. Mm -hmm. If you're free, I will send the task directly to you. And to make sure that the, we don't lose original data and to cooperate with the fast calculation core and the single task source, I also create a bridge like FIFO, like front end of it. Okay. Yeah, and I collect results from the cores with a, a back end of FIFO. I okay. have a like, mediator because our SRAM only has a single right port. Yeah, so I need to fetch the routes and the routes that we need to... So this is all being displayed out of SRAM? Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, so, and the, my original idea, I mean, even even though we failed to implement the HTML stuff, but our VGA can still go higher resolution. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, uh, if you do the calculation, you will find that with higher definition, like, for example, 720p, it exceeds the SRAM Okay. But I can still do that. Why? I can, I can, I, I have, a, I have implemented the read modified write SRAM stuff. So, which means that even if the uh, resolution is higher, I can uh, still reuse some space of the SRAM. Okay. I'll read it out, modify it, and write. Okay. And so this is being driven off of a DE2115. And the microcontroller and uh, SD card are producing the music. This is from last semester's project. Yeah. Okay, thank you.